And across the cage is Adversary fighting out of the blue corner. At five foot six, he's weighed in the same at 145 and one half pounds. His professional record, 18 wins, two losses from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Mazon Sandro. And the third man inside the cage, referee Josh Rosenthal. In the semifinal round of this Bellator featherweight tournament, both fights are scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Elbows to the head are not allowed, neither standing nor on the ground, and there is no Yo, kicking ready? or kneeing the head of a grounded ready? opponent. But round number one. Josh Rosenthal is the referee. Tonight's Bellator Fight Clock is sponsored by New Line Cinema's Final Destination 5 in theaters August 12th. Big question is how long will Malagari stand with Sandra? I think Sandra has the better hands. Nazareno Malagari is in the looser fitting black trunks. Marlon Sandro is in the tight fitting black trunks. Malagari, born in Argentina, moved to Brazil with his family at the age of 14. He holds the rank of black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Marlon Sandro, born and raised, still living in Brazil. He also holds the rank of black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So that stamp on uh, Marlon Sandro's shorts, that's for Novignon, one of the best Jiu-Jitsu teams in Brazil. Spent some time training with those guys a little while ago. Phenomenal team, including Jose Aldo, UFC featherweight champion. He trains with some great guys. Aligari showing nothing but respect for his opponent called Sandro, one of the top five 145 pounders in the world. He said that he felt that he had superior jiu-jitsu and a superior ground game in MMA, but he is also very, very wary of Sandro's punching power. Well, you can see here, he seems very jittery, very jumpy from the outset. Sandro looks very smooth, very relaxed. I think he is very aware of the power of Marlon Sandro. Good shot by, uh, by uh, Nazareno. Sandro also very complimentary, very respectful of his opponent, said that Malagari has a great ground game, excellent submissions that he wanted to be cautious of, but he thought he would have a big advantage in striking. The problem is that neither one of these guys are outstanding wrestlers. I mean, also they're both jiu-jitsu black belts, so Malagari, if he does have a slight advantage on the ground, it's very hard to get any positioning on a really experienced black belt, which Marlon Sandro is. And he's not an outstanding wrestler. It's not like you can go in there and just take Sandro down at will. Hulk Hogan, Kurt Angle, and Impact Wrestling's world champion Sting, along with the best wrestling roster on television, can be seen each and every week. Don't miss all of the action Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern, only on Spike, where wrestling matters again. See the right eye of Nazareno Malagari marked up a little bit. He's been eating a couple of those jabs. Very sharp. Good right hand. Malagari caught. Him. It was the left and the right. There's the shot from Malagari. Sandro, cool as you like. The stuff of the shot right back to his feet. Really finding a home for that jab. Sandro, through our Portuguese interpreter, said, I want to stay striking. If that doesn't work, then I'll go to the ground. But striking is definitely plan A in this fight. See Malagari's head snapping back from that jab. Very accurate by Sandro. Malagari fainting with the right hand. Stiff left jab there by, Ma by Sandro. Faint with the jab by Malagari. One of the problems here, Malagari just not moving his head. His head is very stiff, not loosening up his shoulders, and bang, another beautiful jab. Definitely wobbled on that, and a shot in a single leg by Malagari. Committed to that single leg. Under two minutes now remaining in the opening round of this first featherweight tournament semifinal. And we see this a lot, an outstanding jiu-jitsu black belt, but wrestling just not a huge sport in Brazil. They don't have a background like you're going to see in the United States. Good left hook. That was a nice clubbing left there by Malagari. It's getting more popular because of MMA, but they don't have the takedown like an All-American here in the, uh, I'm sorry, an All-American in the United States. See Sandro, though, coming forward, missing with that uppercut. Oh, good right hand. Two. The left and the right, counter left and a counter by Sandro, that found the mark. Now that's what I teach guys, that jab sets up everything else. You start landing the jab, you'll notice your left hook start landing, so do your right hands, it all comes off the jab. A kick and a miss there by Malagari. Showing Sandro something new though. Stiff left hand there by Sandro. Jimmy, he's finding a home with those lefts and rights. It certainly is, and it's all coming from that accurate jab. Mouse forming and forming rapidly under the right eye of Nazareno Malagari. 
You see here, Malangari being reactive. You know, he's kind of twitch he, he's twitching, he's uncomfortable, he's waiting for Sandro to come in and counter. Well into the final minute of round one. Another sharp jab. The winner through to right. the final of this featherweight tournament in Bellator Summer Series. That final takes place August 20th, live on MTV2, 9 Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. Sano now starting to loosen up, trying start to land his combinations. He's been successful with the jab. Now he's throwing in that right hand, the left hook. He's throwing punches and bunches now. Two Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belts and mainly a stand-up fight. A slip there from Sandro. Melagard trying to pounce, couldn't do so successfully. Both these guys have identical credentials as black belts. They're both extremely high level. When they go to the ground, you're going to see they're evenly matched. Round number two. That's why this hand battle, this boxing battle we're seeing right now is so important. Three judges scoring cage sides for the province of Ontario. Jimmy on your scorecard. No surprise here. 10-9 Marlon Sandro. It was a stand-up battle and he had the more effective strikes. Nazareno Malagari is wearing the loose-fitting black trunks with the yellow trim. Marlon Sandro is wearing the tighter-fitting black trunks. Another sold-out crowd for Bellator Fighting Championships as Bellator has gone international. First show outside of the U.S., the first show in Canada. We are at Casino Rama in Rama, Ontario, north of Toronto. This crowd knows they're fighting. You see Nazareno, he's trying to put pressure on Marlon Sondra, really pulling him into the cage, but it just did not work, and that costs you a lot of energy. I think he learned in that first round he has to commit in order to get inside on Sondra. He's going to lose from the outside. These two fighters so incredibly successful. Malagari, 20 wins, one loss. Sandro, 18 wins, two losses. Sandro, really a superstar in Brazilian MMA, a superstar, maybe even a bigger name in Japanese MMA. He's the former Sengoku featherweight champion and the featherweight king of Pan Trace. A big uppercut that just missed by Sandro. I think his confidence is growing. Can you see the one-two from Marlon Sandro? The uppercut. You don't see that many uppercuts in MMA. You don't see a ton, and that's kind of a bolo, what I call a bolo uppercut, baseball uppercut. He's throwing it from a long distance. Malagari was very, very clear to us, Jimmy, in our fighter mini. He said, I do not want to get into a stand-up battle. I just don't think he knows a way to take down Marlon Sandro at this point in the fight. No, he doesn't. That's his weakness. He doesn't have outstanding wrestling to go with his outstanding jiu-jitsu. Again, he told us he felt he had the superior jiu-jitsu, the superior ground game. And he was really, really complimentary of the striking of Marlon Sandro. That counter left there by Sandro. Nazareno, I think, committing a little more to his punches now. Summer Series concludes on Saturday night, August 20th, live right here on MTV2, starting at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. The card will feature the featherweight tournament final, plus the return of Bellator's world heavyweight champion Cole Conrad, and the Bellator debut of former UFC heavyweight champion Rico Rodriguez. Our first takedown, an outside trip by Marlon Sandro. Trying to pass that half guard of Malagari. Short little clever left there by Sandro. Malagari, who wanted to be on the ground, gets back to his feet. Well, he wants to be on the ground, but I don't think he wants to be on the bottom against Marlon Sandro. That is a big, big difference. On the ground on your own terms. Nice right hand there by Malagari. Under two minutes now remaining in round number two. Again, the winner through to the final of this featherweight tournament in Bellator Summer Series. The winner of this tournament claims a check for $100,000 and a world title shot. You notice when he doesn't push in off his shots, he lands short Malagari. If he doesn't push in, his punches just don't reach Sondra, and he's really open for those counter strikes. Without question, Joe Warren, Bellator's reigning featherweight world champion, is watching this fight tonight. Sandra. I'm sure he's talking to himself, psyching himself up. That's what he does. He's yelling at the screen, probably. Sandro with the body lock. Short knee there by Marlon Sandro into the thigh. Malagari does not want to be in this position. Standing with his back, now his hip against the fence. See Malagari fishing for an inside trip, couldn't find it there. Not even close, in fact. Takedown from Marlon Sandro.
You see Malagari turning. He wants to stand up. He's not playing the guard game. Final minute of round number two. He's back to his feet. Sondra trying to let go with the hands, but this is a very tempered... Oh, good knee! Jump knee there by Sandra. That drew a reaction from our crowd here at Casino Rama. Shades of his teammate, Jose Aldo, loves that flying knee. Single leg takedown by Sandro. Now, credit Nazareno. He keeps moving forward. He's showing a lot of guts. He's still trying to push the pace. I just think he's outgunned on the feet right now. Allegari back to his feet. Holding that guillotine position. No way he's going to cinch it in there. Sandro popping his head free. Both men in the body lock. Sandro definitely feeling good. Closing seconds of round two. Break. 